Hey guys and welcome to a new video of mine. So this one is quite spontaneous since you've probably all seen my video of the 6.6 .6 ounces DCF full feature tent I've made and I'm gonna do another one for a friend of mine. So I thought I'm gonna share the process with you and yeah so if you're interested stay in touch. Okay so first things first you're obviously gonna need your layer of DCF and since the width of the DCF is not quite enough the thing I or the way I do it I'm gonna measure out 275 centimeters in length and the full bend width of the DCF and then I take another two pieces of DCF which are 46 centimeters and they are also the width of the um, yeah of the, the DCF and I tape these two together in the middle like so and then I attach them to the big part of DCF so you basically have two times 137 centimeters which equals roughly 275 centimeters and as you can see this gives you a real big space of DCF to work with and once you have this in place the next thing is to mark your head end or your peak design pretty much so I have my design right here I'm uh, marking it on my DCF and yeah then I'm gonna cut it all right guys so as you can see we've cut out all the parts of the beak and this part already has some adhesive on it which will um, weld together these parts up here to form the yeah well the beak itself pretty much and then next thing you do once you've cut it all out you may attach those flaps up front so basically the doors up front and those are simply the parts you've cut off beforehand like pretty much those that go this way and this from the rectangular shape of the DCF flip them over and they will form those nice neat flaps up front so that's what you're gonna do for both sides obviously yeah well the next thing will be to hem all the edges this is basically only for looks pretty much and I would suggest using a really thin thread and really tiny needle so I have got uh, the tiniest Microtex needle available and an S120 uh, thread which is really really flimsy but it's uh, in order to get or to, in order to put uh, really really tiny holes and not to weaken the fabric. Other than that, just go around, hem it easy and with wide um, stitching. This also prevents uh, doing too many holes, so in order not to weaken the fabric. Okay guys, so the next thing you want to do is prepare your tie out points or guy out points, however you want to call it. So this one is pretty simple. You just want to sew these points on with an um, box X stitch. So that's how it looks on the back. And you want to make sure to low, uh, lay those um, pieces of grain ribbon or uh, webbing tape parallel to each other in order to um, improve the surface area and thus improve the strength of the whole construction. Alright guys, so the next step is applying your guide points to the fly of the tent. So basically just put some double sided um, cuban tape on the patch, place it firmly onto the fly and I'm always uh, folding over the edge a little bit like so in order to secure it down and that's what you're gonna do with all guide points also the top point uh, which you will attach the 
get a line lock too. And yeah, that's another step done. So after if you guys finish the fly itself, the next thing is to add the mesh, the mosquito netting. And I personally do it that way that I sew all of the mesh onto the fly like so. So this is the inner part, this is the mesh. And I sew it this way, flip it over like it will be later and then go over this again. And as you can see, this will form a little like tiny roof, so to say, and protect the mosquito netting from any moisture that rolls down the fly. Yeah, so you go all around the fly with those stripes and then you will go to the door pretty much and this one will be a bit special, but we'll get to it. Okay guys, so when you've attached your mosquito netting to your fly material, next thing will be attaching your mosquito netting to your ground material or to your um, yeah well bottom part of the tent so you will do it like this uh, again so this is the part of the mosquito netting that will face the um, the inside actually and so you want to sew it edge to edge and then fold it over forming another little uh, yeah, well, little gap or little roof part, yeah, which hinders um, any beads that form through condensation on the fly material running down, running down your netting into your uh, bathtub floor. Um, this prevents that really well because there is like a little ridge that hinders every droplet going down this way and just keeps it afloat pretty much. So I will show you this in the finished tent again. But just so you know, sew it right on top and then do a rolled hem pretty much and you're set. Okay guys, so I'm uh, over like one of the most difficult parts of the project, which is actually designing and sewing the mesh door. And um, so the trickiest part is aligning the zipper on the mesh panel, which is in front. Better do it backside down, sew it onto it, then cut your your um, area and then sew the the cut area oppositely on the on the zipper, which is yeah it's it's really hard to um, show on camera. It's even harder to put into words, but just try it out on a on a small piece of uh, fabric first to get the the gist for how you're gonna do this and other than that do it like um, most times you sew zippers so you wanna sew it onto um, the, the wrong side first and flip it over and do another stitch atop to secure it make it look neat and nice and yeah have it end in a flat curve down here so as I mentioned, it's not easy. You have to basically try this a whole uh, lot of times, but yeah, you will get it right uh, sometime. Okay guys, so next thing you wanna do, and this is pretty special to my design and I find it quite ingenious. So you don't wanna sew the mosquito netting to the fly material um, because of two reasons, for one, as I'm losing, uh, as I'm using the lightest weight DCF that's available, it will will take uh, damage by sewing it, and we don't want that. And another thing is, um, it's pretty hard to sew actually uh, the mosquito netting in a straight line and really nicely to the outer fly. So what I did is I um, will cut out a t two centimeter strip of um, the DCF and sew this one to the mosquito netting and then we'll tape this to the outer fly material which makes for a cleaner uh, optic and also doesn't compromise the structure of the material. So you want to go with the strip all the way down then put on the adhesive and yeah we'll see each other once I've done that. 
Okay, guys, so this is a small little piece you want to create or rather you want to create three of these because these are the magnetic closures for your bug netting. So you can open the mesh door and also for the um, storm doors or vestibule doors. So the way you do this is take another small strip of the Cuban fiber DCF material and stick a bit of adhesive onto it. Place the niodine magnet on it and on the other side as well. But make sure that you do it in a way that those two will connect once you will put them together so that they will really attract each other well. And then just um, flip over the edges, so I'm down, secure it all and boom, you have your magnetic closure ready. Okay guys, so after much preparation, the next thing you wanna do is add your mosquito netting mesh door to your fly. So the way you do this is with your prepared adhesive DCF straps, strips, you wanna be really careful and apply it in a straight line down from the point where your tracking pole will go downwards to an area around 30 centimeters from the edge. So I've found 30 centimeters to be perfect for my design. Oh, and before I forget, be really careful the way you um, tape the door into it because you obviously want to take care that the zipper faces the right side afterwards. So really mind what you're doing before you do it and um, check twice because otherwise it would be, yeah, it would be a shame. Okay guys, so we've made a little bit of a jump, but Basically what has happened in the meantime is I did sew in the lower portion of the mesh door onto the bathtub floor. So just like we did on the back side with the mesh netting, you just sew it around, pretty much stitch it twice for safety reasons and make sure everything is, is fine. And then you will get to like the finishing touches pretty much. So. I personally would recommend you um, yeah, um, placing the tent in your living room or somewhere where you have the space, maybe also outside, but I do enjoy it to do these touches in the inside and just prop it up with some um, yeah, weights. And then you want to go around check if everything is fine, if, if nothing is um, loose. Also, you want to um, put in the cord, which will cinch up your bathtub floor from below. So that's what I'm going to do next as well. And yeah, basically all the cordage, you want to put your, your front guy out line and do a little prusik and get your uh, double hook apparatus ready and also a nice or important finishing task will be fixing the beak so we've left this portion um, out on purpose you want to now when it's propped up use the adhesive and put it on here to get a really nice uh, closure of the peak and yeah add your line lock Check that everything works, check that everything is all right, and then you're basically done with your tent. So, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, watching me build this tent, watching, um, yeah, like the, the how it gets together, the fine parts, and all the, the stuff that really goes into making such a tent. And hopefully, some of you will, um, yeah, start your own projects. Other than that, thanks for watching and bye.